All right, so that was sick. I completely loved seeing the entire set and how they did it. It was so cool. I, I stood next to what they call a production manager, where she kind of like essentially keeps people off of the uh, off the set. Oh wow, that was quick. Thank you. Oh no, it's not yet. Oh, oh not yet. Is thank you. On the house. Oh wow, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I just got seafood combo soup on the house. Well, thank you very much for this restaurant, from this restaurant. But essentially, cool to watch because they shoot the same scene from several different angles, like from one person's perspective, then another's, then zoomed in, then zoomed out. It was really cool to watch. Now I'm at a restaurant and I just ordered apparently cuttlefish and uh, crawfish and uh, baby quail eggs. So <laughs> I'm always down to try something new. All right, here we go. Here is the situation. Also, I love having this camera because people always ask me what I do and it opens up such an interesting conversation when I say I do YouTube full time. Also, these lights in here are causing a weird bowing going on. This stinks, my battery is about to die and uh, my other battery is in my guitar bag. But you get to see me put on my bib. Cool, and I got gloves. Let's uh, let's try a. Oh look, here's the baby. Here's the baby thing that they were talking about. Baby cuttlefish. Pretty good actually. And crawfish. Can you see the crawfish? So I was actually wrong. This is the cuttlefish and the quail egg. See so the quail egg and cuttlefish right there. It's only 7:15. But man, it feels like way later today. And it still says that it's gonna take an hour and 20 minutes to get home, which is wild. I wanna share a little thought process with you guys of, of what I just did at the restaurant. So first of all, food was fantastic at the restaurant. Very unique, but I, I love trying new food. And like, if there's an opportunity to try new food, well, I'll take it. I love trying new food. So that being said, the lady saw my camera. She was asking me all questions about my, my what I do and stuff. And she was very, very, very nice. Like very nice, like 45 year old woman or something like that. Really sweet. Like she took the time to show me. How, I was like, hey, like I haven't had a crawfish in a really long time. I just want to make sure I'm eating right. Can you show me? And she's like, oh, let me go get gloves. She because they give you the gloves to eat them. And she showed me how to crack it. She walked me through like very nice lady. So I was being very nice back, which I always try to be. But the point being, this is the kicker. So at the end, she she was like, hey, so do you do video work also like will you do travel in the city for video work because i told her she, uh, she's like do you live in the city and i was like no i was from long island i came in for work and she's like hey so i do makeup design on the side would you like can i potentially hire you for some videos i want to really like pump up my social media and i was wondering if maybe i could hire you she was like maybe we can exchange instagram so i had her send me a message on instagram and i'm going to send her a whole bunch of links but this is the point of the story so first of all she was very nice so as part of that i really wanted to bless her with the tip but if I was just blessing her with a tip, I would not be telling you guys because that's something I would do in private. I, there's no need to share that. But this is my thought process. First of all, I wanted to bless her and be nice to her. Second of all, I saw this as an opportunity to potentially get a future client. My meal was $21, but what I did is I gave a $30 tip, which is 150% tip. And then I took customer's receipt and wrote on it and said, this is because you were so nice, exclamation point. Thank you so much. Jacob. Now the point was yes to bless her and be a blessing, but I like I said I wouldn't be sharing that with you guys if I was doing that. I would have done that in private. But I want the reason I am sharing that with that you guys that is because I want you to hear the business mindset of it. See how you can implement this in your life. Like I said, like yesterday I went and got Chris Geringer and his assistant Liz a bottle of wine and a bottle of tequila just to say thank you for taking the time. This lady I gave her a 30% 150% uh, tip, a $30 tip because I'm hoping that it ends up being potential work. You never know who people are connected to. You never know where it ends up so if it ends up being a $300 gig or even if it's $150 like or $500 gig or a thousand you never know or even if it's $150 I still made $120 based off of the tip actually no it was $20 I probably would have given a $5 tip anyway so that means I only paid $25 extra of what I would have normally paid so that means that like if even if I made it was even if she hired me for a $150 gig which is a relatively small gig that's like an hour's worth of work probably the minimum would be $300 even if it was $150 that still means that take the $25 off, I still made $125. Essentially, like almost like I gave her a, a what kind of discount would that be? A 150 would be like a 20% discount. But if it's $300, then it's a less than a 10% discount. You know, and it's, so I I was trying to be forward thinking, and like I said, the only reason I'm sharing this with you is because I want you guys to kind of adopt this thinking for your business or your mindset or your career. Uh, and I want to document my process so people can learn. That's why I did it. So I was like, maybe this could, pot could potentially be a future client. Let me see if I. 
I could turn her into a potential client by being an extra blessing, being extra nice, and then maybe she'll feel more compelled to to hire me. And if she doesn't, well, then she was really blessed, and I'm sure God will honor that. <laughs> All right, so I got an hour and a half drive home, so uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, <laughs> I was I, I'm trying to film while driving, and it's quite dangerous at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun ride home that was. So pretty much took about an hour and a half, uh, about an hour and a half exactly almost. But man, I legit was just on the phone the whole time with so many different people. I called a friend, uh, we just chatted for a couple minutes and I called uh, like one of my older uh, friends, but also mentors. I chatted for a little, then I called one of my old musicians friends that I haven't spoke to in years, chatted for a couple minutes. And then I just called my uh, one of my old original bosses, spoke for like 25 minutes and caught up and it was just a blast, man. And I, uh, I loved it. I loved every second of that car ride.